cult site that you hinted about having beef with on Instagram. Um, and her and her husband threatened you. People think it was Eva. Nope. <gasps> it was not. <laughs> it's not Candy. Ooh. Here we go. Here the fuck we go. Here the fuck we go. I do. I'm 45. Divorced father, five. Wow. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Are the kids yeah. all from your wife? No. So how many baby mamas? I have four. Four. It's me, dear friend. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Alive and kicking. So y'all, it's Brian Keith, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Tamar versus Candy. Um, and this resurgent beef that they had almost, what, three years ago? Tamar basically alleged that Candy and Todd tried to fight her. I don't know how true that is, but y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the video. Yeah, let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire, come out. I'm a flaming lips. You wanna play with me? You can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it. One and secure in the. All right, so first of all, I did watch the first episode of Queen's Court, and I feel like the, ep the show was a really good show. Um, the three main people are Evelyn Lozada, um, Nivea, and Tamar. Um, Evelyn. Um, you know, with the Evelyn, I'm, I, I'm gonna say this. I'm never going to forget how she treated OG. Like th that's one thing that I'm like at the end of the day, the whole colorism aspect, microaggressions, the whole gaslighting that she did on that show. I don't think I could ever really truly be a fan of Evelyn, but she is Evelyn. Uh, she's a drop dead gorgeous woman and the show made me actually like her which is crazy which just shows me the power of editing um but i want to talk about before we get to the candy and tamar drama i want to talk about tamar and this man jr so first episode we found out um this man jr um he has not one not two not three but five children i do i'm 45 Divorced father, five. Wow. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Are the kids yeah. all from your wife? No. So how many baby mamas? I have by four different women. Not judging, do you. It is what it is. But his excuse was, well, you know, having a heroin addict mother, you know, I just wanted to be loved. We're not about to blame you slinging dick around Atlanta because of your mom. At the end of the day, if you just say, you know, stuff happens, it wasn't like I planned on having um, five kids with four different women, but you know, stuff that just happened. By taking ownership and just like, you know, boom, calling, throwing it out there, I could take that. I could take somebody like, you know, I got five kids by five or uh, four different women. It is what it is, you know, um, it wasn't my plan, but you know, I fell in love with these women or I was dating these women at the time. Boop, 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 ah, ah, ah. I could take that. But trying to blame your mom for the reason why you're doing that, I didn't like that. Um, He is very charming. He is very, um, he has swagger, debonair, smooth, great with his words. He's a wordsmith. The way that he talks, he reminds me of the guy from Wild Wild West with Will, uh, Will Smith and Summer Hayek. Don't you just hate that song. Alive and kicking. I'm 45, divorced father five. If you, if you know, you know, the man that's in the wheelchair, Right, that's what he remind me of, the way he talked, and I'm just like, okay. He's a smooth talker, and I feel like he had Tamar at go. So, obviously we know that they got together, they are a couple. Um, Fast forward into the future, right? Somewhere along the lines, Tamar and Candy, beef has reasserted. We already know the whole beef that they had during um big brother and how you know tamar felt slighted by candy because of a tour and drama on the tour they didn't really go into the specifics but they know what happened whatever and candy didn't see it was a big deal tamar did and then they had like a little interaction on the show where you know tamar was talking to her candy started laughing tamar and i have a long history with each other a year ago we went on tour with my group escape and some of that time was tough I'm getting a little disrespectful. I can't take this laughing. I, 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 I can't deal with this laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this when somebody tell you how, when somebody tell you how they feel, for you to laugh. What? Oh, I told you. <laughs> I ain't coming for all that cackling and acting. <laughs> you know what? This is 
and <laughs> entertaining. Um, like I said, I'm a Big Brother fan, so once you cross Big Brother with Housewives, I'm there. Candy doesn't give me, I'm gonna fight you. I'll drag you in this bitch. Wow. So that's where it's kind of, when Tamar said that, I'm just like, well, she wanna, Candy wanna fight her, cause she told him, watch what happens live, that the person was Candy. What about having beef with on Instagram, saying her and her husband threatened you. People think it was Eva. Nope, it was not. It's not Candy. Ooh. Uh, I thought you and Candy mended everything after Big Brother. I thought so too. But here's the thing with Tamar. Tamar, Candy don't drink, Candy don't do drugs, none of that. So I'm just like, it had to take a lot for Candy to get to that that space for her just to pop off. So if that was the case and if that was true, I need the full story. You know, and especially if Todd walked up on her too, I need the full story. Like, were you saying something? This and third, I don't know. They gonna have to elaborate. Tamar dropped the video, and um, after Candy responded, everybody's wanting to know about the beef, about the beef, about the beef. Mm -hmm. Um, the only thing I say right now is, you know, simply that that's not true. My husband never said nothing to her. He did not threaten her or none of that. So that's why I was like, I don't even want to like address that on Amazon Live. And Tamar dropped a video basically explaining her side. It started from a YouTube that Candy put about put out about whatever the issues they had with Carlos King. And I was asked about it. Now, I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm not like these other reality people. Like, I'm a real bona fide, five-time Emmy-nominated journalist. <laughs> Difference. So for me, I am not comfortable publicly saying or calling someone else a liar without knowing the legitimate facts. That's where I'm standing with that. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.